fine. Let's solve for the value or let's simplify what we have on the board. Okay, let's first of all concentrate on what we have under the root sign. Now, this is equal to the square root of 1 is same thing as 2 divided by 2, right? Because I want to have the same denominator. So, 2 divided by 2 plus what? Root 3 divided by 2. That means that this is equal to the square root of... Now, we have the same denominator, so we'll write that. And 2 plus what? Root 3. 2 plus root 3. All right. Now... I want to introduce something because I have a target, okay? They said simplify, so I should do everything possible to simplify this, okay? So I want to introduce 2 divided by 2 to this because 2 divided by 2 will still give me 1. So I've not really introduced anything. So I can write this to be equal to the square root of... Sorry, trying to get a straight line. Okay, now the square root of what? 2 divided by 2 multiplied by what? 2 plus root 3 divided by 2. All right. Now, since we have this, let me turn this to multiplication. Now, since we have this, this is equal to the square root of 2 times this 2 will give us 4 plus 2 times root 3 will give us what? 2 root 3 divided by 2 times 2 will still give us 4. Okay? All right. Now, I want us to analyze this. For those that might be confused, this 2 over 2 multiplied by 2 plus root 3 over 2. Okay? is the same thing as the numerator, right? We multiply the numerator as well. That is 2 plus root 3. Okay? So if I open this bracket, 2 times 2 will give me 4. And 2 times root 3 will give me 2 root 3. Then these two we multiply these two to give us 4. Okay? So I just want to clear the air. All right. Now, I want us to concentrate on 4 plus 2 root 3. Let's just simplify it first. So 4 plus 2 root 3. Okay? Now, this can be written as 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. Okay, so 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. And this is equal to 3 plus 2 root 3 plus 1. All right? Yes, I know where I'm driving at. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, so that you don't miss any of our amazing videos and please give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video okay thank you so much all right now what am i trying to form recall recall that a plus b raised to the power of two is equal to sorry let me turn to this side now a plus b raised to the power of two is the same thing as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right? It's the same thing. Now, I want us to write what we have here. This is what we have. We have 3 plus 2 root 3 plus 1. Now, I can write 3 as what? Square root of 3 squared, right? Yeah, so I can write square root of 3 squared, right? Because this will divide this and we are left with just 3 which is this, plus 2 root 3, plus this 1 is same thing as what? 1 squared, right? Yes. All right. Now, if we look at this and we say that root 3 is equal to A, and that 1 is equal to B, you can say that if we say root 3 plus 1, all squared, using this particular uh, identity, that this will be equal to root 3 squared, root 3 squared plus 2ab, right? That is 2 multiplied by our a, which is root 3, multiplied by our b, which, our b, which is 1, right? Then plus b squared, that is 1 squared. Now, if you solve this, you will have root 3 squared. We give you what? This, we cancel this, you have 3, right? Plus 2 root 3, right? 2 root 3 plus 1 squared will give us 1. 
Yes. Now, when you look at this, you see that you have gotten this back. Now, what am I trying to say? All I'm trying to say is that this is actually equal to root 3 plus 1 squared. So, another way of writing this is to write root 3 plus 1 squared. Therefore, I'll come back to our equation, right? And I said, recall that all this we have been solving 4 plus 2 root 3. That is what we've been analyzing, all right? This is 4 plus 2 root 3. So, I can replace this 4 plus 2 root 3. Since this is all we've been analyzing, I can replace it with what? Root 3 plus 1 squared, all right? Without causing any confusion. So, this implies that... Permit me to clean this part of the board. So this implies that square root of what? 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by 4 is equal to the square root of... So I'm going to replace this now with this. Root 3 plus 1 all squared divided by what? 4. Now, I can write this as what? The square root of root 3 plus 1 all squared divided by 2 squared. Because 4 is same thing as 2 squared, okay? Now, this is equal to the square root of root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Now, before I write anything, recall, recall that a squared or a to the power of b, where should I write this? Yeah, it will enter here. a to the power of b divided by, say, c to the power of b. Okay? This is the same thing as a divided by c raised to the power of b. Once they have the same power, right? So that simply means that we can rewrite this as what? Well. This is root 3 plus 1 over 2, everything squared, since they have the same power. All right. Now, permit me to clean this side of the board. Hope you have given us a thumbs up. Please do that if you have not done that. So that this is equal to what? The square root of... So we now have this, we divide this, or this we can see this. Your square root, we always can see your square. So what we have left is what? Square root of 3 plus... Sorry, we have cancelled the square root already, right? Yeah, we have cancelled the square root. So what we have left is what? Square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So this implies that the square root of 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 is the same thing as square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So this is the simplified part or the simplified version. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.